hi guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while <laughs> i know a lot of you have been like what is about crystal tv where is she where is she but i'm back i'm back on my channel and today's video i'm gonna be doing a quick recap of miss grand international 2023 guys like this pageant ended about two weeks ago i know this is long overdue but you know how it is now life happens <laughs> life happens a lot of things that we you know want to do at some point you know something else will just come up and we have to do them so this is more like a recap a short a very short recap of the competition i really loved the opening ceremony the opening numbers of the candidates as you can see on your screen like i love 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 the opening numbers i love the clothes the costume the overall pageant too much okay because i have a lot to say about this particular pageant even if i love the production i love everything about the pageant and we have a very great winner but there are a lot of things that I feel like, you know, we need to work on, or rather the Miss Grand International. So obviously the part that I really liked is where the, the former Miss Grand International, you know, they actually take off her her crown and give her another crown. Okay, so this part is so, so emotional for me. I really like the, I really, I really like the fact that you see Mr. Nawat here, the president of Miss Grand International, actually crowning the former winner and bidding her good um bidding her farewell yes bidding, bidding her farewell i like this part a lot it's so, so so emotional for the outgoing queen you know she's you know she's giving her chance to say her final goodbyes to you know the audience to her fans to every of every to each and every one of us across the globe across the world okay across the universe okay so I love this part. I love this her gown. Like her gown is so beautiful, so very very unique, and um, she's a very great. She was a very great queen. Like she was like a stylish queen. Queen. I loved her um, last year when she won. Um, I loved her dress. I loved. Like she was just so classy. There's something so classy about her. So let's get right into the pageant. Yeah. So these are our black melanin queens. Like you know, guys. You know how we do it now here now talk about uh black queens representing the african continent with pride okay so yeah this is like this is a collection of black queens that were in the pageant okay so um of course this year i know that there were a lot of changes that were done to the judging criteria because we saw two black girls two black girls in the finals of course from angola and from nigeria so i really love that about the fact that we had two um queens and the top 20 okay but that's not enough because we need more present representation okay so i wish a lot of african countries can actually join miss grand international i wish they can but anyways there were some major upsets upsets in this competition because you know how it is now a lot of asian um fans they were not really happy that miss philippines was excluded from the top 20 okay i know philippine fans they were crime blood okay <laughs> it's not it's, it's 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 really really um i really feel for them like seriously because i i actually made put her in my top 20 okay she, i she was uh, my top 20 predictions if you really watched you know my youtube shots please if you're not be watching my youtube shots go and watch my youtube shot because i have a lot of you know updates and um, in that category i love a lot of updates in my youtube shots so please watch my youtube shots okay please don't scroll past because I have a lot of information that I really update, you know, on my shots. You know, when I don't have the time to come out here to, you know, um, to analyze, I just put it on my YouTube shot. So please go ahead and watch my YouTube shot. All right. So that was where I, you know, I put up a video, put up a video of my of the video of my predictions. Yes, Miss Philippines was one of my, you know, favorites to even win. Um, yeah, I think I put her alongside Miss Columbia too. Um, Peru was not really in my list. Oh, she was in my list, but she was not really a front runner for me. Okay, so I was so surprised that she won. But all the same, she's a great winner. Not taking it from her, she's a great winner. But I'll see you in my next video. Bye.